From Confein Asharim in Jewcology, this is the Year of Jewish Learning on the Environment video series. This video is titled Water, Appreciating a Limited Resource. I'm Rabbi Yonatan Nero, and from Jerusalem I want to share with you a Jewish teaching about water. I want to speak briefly about three things. First, a Jewish perspective on appreciating water. Second, the preciousness of water in the world today. And third, practical things we can do to conserve water. A Jewish teaching states that God personally waters the land of Israel, while the rest of the world is watered by a messenger. For many years I had a question about this teaching. How could it be that the land of Israel is watered by God personally, when the land of Israel receives significantly less water than other places, like British Columbia, the Amazon, or the northeastern United States? And then I realized that actually, this is by design. Israel is a semi-arid country, and the Jews in the land need to pray to God for rain in order to water their crops. When the Jews merit it, there are plentiful rains, and their agriculture benefits. And when that's not the case, then there's water scarcity in the land of Israel. So says Jewish teachings. This is meant, in part, to instill in the Jewish people, a sense that God is the one who provides them with their water and with their rain, and to create an appreciation to God for this precious resource. This is still important today, even though our water comes through pipes. 97.5% of all the water on planet Earth is salt water. And of that remaining 2.5%, 70% is in the ice caps of Antarctica and Greenland. So therefore, there's actually a very limited amount of fresh water on planet Earth. Human actions have been impacting some of the fresh water that we have access to, including pollution of aquifers and overpumping of groundwater. So in many parts of the world, there is there are, there's water scarcity. We can take practical steps to use water wisely and conserve it. For example, when we wash our dishes, we can first use a sponge and soap to, to soak them up, and then only after, turn on the water to rinse them. That enables us not to leave the water on the whole time. The Jewish tradition also provides a way of appreciating water. For example, there is a blessing before and after drinking water. Finally we can connect to the source from where our water comes from, the physical source, that is, because it might be a uh, reservoir or a lake or a stream near our home, and that we can visit and commit to protecting that, that body of water. In sum, I talked about the Jewish value of appreciating water, how water is precious and scarce in many places in the world today, and finally, how we can take practical actions regarding water. May Jewish teachings inspire us to conserve water and to use the resource as wisely as we can. Thank you. For more information on this topic, please visit confeinisharim.org slash learning or jucology.com.